a clinical psychologist in the United States Army, and so I'm here to offer any kind of services that you need. As a clinical psychologist, I have a PhD, I don't have a medical degree, so people are often confused by that. So I can't prescribe medication, but I can do so many other things for you as a behavioral health provider. Um, if you come to behavioral health, you know, we are one of the few that actually can take a restricted report. So what that means is, if you tell me anything about the event or the assault or whatever happened to you, I don't have to tell anyone. I don't have to tell your command. I don't have to tell any of your family members. I do connect you with resources from the Sexual Assault Response Coordinator, the SARC, or the Victim Advocate. And that's just so you can have all of those services that they can offer, all the information they have about things that can take care of you. As also as a clinical psychologist, even though I'm in the United States Army, I can see every service. I can see Army, Navy, uh, Marines, uh, Coast Guard, anything that comes in our door, we can definitely see and we can make sure we connect you and get you taken care of. And so what people often don't understand is that when bad things happen, you know, even though a lot of people think of PTSD as been a war-related um, incident, it actually, anytime you have any kind of trauma, you can also be diagnosed with PTSD. So when you come to Behavioral Health, we're gonna assess you for that and be able to offer you any kind of services and counseling. What that entails is finding out kind of what's going on and being able to give you resources and coping skills. You know, oftentimes people get distracted by the event, they have those events coming up, they have problems sleeping. We can give you resources, things to help you, meditation, relaxation, um, just even ways to kind of incorporate funny stories or funny videos into your life because we always want to make sure we maintain our sense of humor. It's really a great coping skill. So if you have anything that's going on, just remember you can always come to Behavioral Health, you can ask to see a clinical psychologist, and we are here for you anytime, any place. You can always give us a call. We're available even during the daytime and even after hours when you come to the emergency room. There's always a behavioral health provider on call. So please reach out. Reaching out is a sign of strength. So please let us help you.